What's going on guys, it just be here and the iPad has actually become my favorite Apple device. And I have a lot of Apple devices, but the iPad Pro allows me to do a lot of things more efficiently and when I'm on the go. I decided to really just carve out its own space in my office instead of sharing the space with the M1 MacBook Air. I found that it was a little bit too cluttered so the iPad Pro definitely needs its own space. So what I've done was I created a little bit of a desk setup and I'm gonna be creating a desk setup tour just for you guys to see how I use my iPad Pro to increase my productivity and all the little things that go with it. So of course, links will be down below in the description for everything mentioned in this video. And I'm gonna be doing a giveaway, $25 gift card. All you gotta do is make sure that you subscribe and leave a comment down below. I'm gonna announce the winner next week. If you've already entered by commenting in any of my other videos, all you gotta do is comment again. You can double up your chances. I'm gonna be picking a random winner from any of these videos. So make sure you subscribe, make sure to comment to win. Now let's get into the video. I never thought I'd be the type to use the iPad as my main computer, but the iPad Pro does the job just well. Of course, the iPad Pro is the focal part of my desk setup. The version I have is the 11 inch 128 gig version in space gray. I'm able to check emails, browse the web, watch movies and more on the iPad. Since I bought the iPad Pro, I never really used the MacBook unless I was editing videos photos, or doing anything that's crazy intensive. I use this basic desk from Walmart. Unfortunately, I don't remember the name because it was a hand-me-down that my brother no longer used. It's a pretty basic desk, but I added a little bit of flair by adding an adhesive film on top that gives the appearance of walnut. The desk itself is actually white, but I added this film on top to make things on my desk stand out a little bit more and to film overhead portions of my YouTube to give it more character. On top of the desk, I have a desk mat from Noto. It's relatively cheap and I bought it off Amazon. I like it because it adds another layer to my desk and it has some practicality use because it works well with my mouse. I got it in black because I already have the black version of it on my main desk and I wanted them to match. It's not real leather, but it gives off the look of minimalism and sophistication. Speaking of my mouse, the mouse that I use for this setup is the Magic Mouse 2. It works well with the iPad Pro and has cool gestures on iPad OS. The Magic Mouse 2 also looks really good, but the downside of the design is that it doesn't really fill your hand out that much. Much. I don't have small hands and I wouldn't really say that I have large hands, but this mouse does feel really small in my hand. Other than that though, I like the fact that it does not have a scroll wheel, so it makes it look a little bit different. And you can actually just scroll by swiping on the mouse. I use it on my iPad Pro mostly, but I also connect it with my MacBook when I need to. The keyboard that I have is a Jet Tech keyboard. It's pretty cheap, but it feels and looks kind of like an Apple keyboard. Of course, it's also small, but I'm able to type things out efficiently. Now, you may be wondering, why does he have two keyboards? And that's a good question. And to answer, I have this keyboard on the case and I use that on my iPad for when I'm on the go. So I just fold it up and take it wherever I'm going. This keyboard, which is the Jet Tech one, stays on my desk at all times. And this allows me to use the keyboard case as an iPad stand to keep it up while I'm typing. I would recommend this keyboard if you're looking for something cheap with an Apple-esque style. And if you're interested in the Logitech keyboard, I did do a full review on it, link is below. For listening to audio, of course, I have the AirPods Pro. These go with me everywhere and I use it for mostly consuming content. I like the sound isolation, spatial audio, and every other feature that comes with the iPad Pro. And I keep them on whatever desk I'm using at the time, whether it be my main desk or the iPad desk. Now, I use the iPad Pro for editing photos and I'm sure a lot of you might do that as well. And if I need to connect an SD card, I have this USB-C hub that I bought on Amazon. I actually have two of these, one that stays on my main desk and the other stays on my iPad desk 
but it also comes with me when I'm leaving with the iPad, just in case I need to plug in. I also have an essential oil diffuser that I got from Indigo as a gift. It has multiple lights, but I mostly keep it on blue. At night, I use it to add scents to my room to help me smell train since I lost my smell almost a year ago due to COVID. It works well and I can easily set the mood at my desk. No desk is complete without some greenery, real or fake. And this is a fake plant I got from Canadian Tire, which is a car parts store in Canada. And this was about $40. I use it in the background of a lot of my videos and I usually keep it here on my desk to give it that nature vibe. I went with a fake one because I can't take care of a plant considering I can barely take care of myself. Last but not least, I have velcroed a power bar at the bottom of my desk. This allows me to plug in the essential oil diffuser or any other items that I may have around this desk, including any power chargers or camera equipment. What do you think about my iPad Pro desk setup? It's very minimal. There's not a lot of things on it, but I like to keep it dedicated for work. Let me know if you guys have your own little setup, any suggestions that you have, drop a comment down below. Make sure that you subscribe to enter the giveaway. Again, $25 Apple gift card could be yours if you just subscribe and comment uh, on one of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.